Dorothy here. I'm back in here in the craft room and I'm going to finish off that uh, card that we made with the clutch bag purse template that we had just completed in part one of this tutorial. Um, first, let me show you what I've done here. Is First, we've printed everything off and um, I've printed the card on cardstock. Um, you can use any type of cardstock. I happen to use 180 GSM. Um, it's rather thin, but that's all I can get through my printer at the moment. And if you notice my little smudge, don't mind that too much. But here we go, this is that. And what I've also done is I, uh, in Photoshop, I also printed out a piece of paper on the other side. So it's the matching blue that we also have on the envelope. And that's so the inside of the card will be blue. And then we printed off the envelope template that we did and I just did these two. Then what we did was we cut them out and I've cut them out here. They're pretty easy to cut out. Um, just make sure you invest in a really good pair of scissors, nice and sharp. I like using my Fisker scissors here. These are my favorite ones and I paid about eight or nine pounds for them but they're well worth it because they stay really sharp. And then what we've got here is the there's the purse with the score lines and then there's the envelope. Now the envelope's really easy to cut out. You can just use you can use a pair of scissors to cut out the corners or you could use uh, your paper cutter because all of it are straight lines. So you just take it into your paper cutter and just line it up and go ahead and cut off that. Oop, my paper cutter is not very sharp but no problem. Just take a pair of scissors trim off that so we have a nice envelope. Now you could also, if you wanted to, print on the other side of the envelope. I didn't for this one. You can even, if you wanted to, take it into your template and just do the flaps, the flap that's going to show, and just print, print that part off on the other side. Make sure you reverse it. So we've got everything cut out and now we've got all of our score lines on here. So what you want to do is take it in, you can use your paper cutter and a bone folder if you'd like and do your score lines this way but I happen to have a score pal here and I love my score pal and this is what I'm using to um, do my score lines. First I'm going to do my card and just make sure everything's lined up and straight from top to bottom take it into your score and just score it and then line up the next line, score that. I happen to be right handed so I'm going to go ahead and score the center. And then this next one, make sure everything's lined up, top to bottom, make sure the bottom and the top are lined up. And one more on the card. All right, we've got that all scored. Next, we'll take our envelope in here and we'll score that. Really easy. Down. Don't know if you can see this or not. To the bo top to bottom. I'm just doing a quick score here, just so you all can see. I don't know if you can see. Let's take it there, like that. And just a quickie here, so everybody can see what I'm doing. Okay, all four sides have been scored. Now you want to go ahead and fold everything over carefully. Make sure that you get some nice creases on here. I know you regular car makers, you know all this stuff already. But it's so much fun to do it with printables because you can have so much choices on what you can make. You can change the colors, you can change your pattern, you can change the paper you use in these templates. Create whatever you want. So we're going to do our card. Now everything here is... This here is just two mountain folds. Let's make it like that. 
And this is a Mountain Valley Mountain Fold. So we're going to fold the first one in that way. That way, and then, I don't know if you saw that, we fold this one in, the next one back, and then the last fold we're going to fold in. Okay, so you have a mountain valley, and a mountain, or a valley, mountain, valley. And then that's going to feel like that, that's going to go like that. Score, scoring tool away. And there you've got your card. Now it's easy enough to fix this. To You can add any type of embellishment you want on the outside. Um, I happen to have one made already that I made earlier. And what's really good about these is they'll stand up as well. I don't know if you can see that so much, but it's, uh, it's able to stand up. And once you get everything on there, it'll be a lot easier to stand up. You can also, because of the width of this, you can create a book. What I've done is I've added just a simple ribbon and a sentiment. This is just a sentiment. I've printed off the computer. I have to be one of the people that print off tons of sentiments off the computer and have them in a stack nearby in case already to add to a card. Sometimes I'll print them in colors. These ones happen to be, this one happens to be stamped on some homemade, handmade paper. But uh, or you can, I have some ones that are shapes that are cut out with uh, vestibilities, but you're all ready with the sentiment. And this was one of the ones that I had had. And all I did was add some Prima flowers onto this with a jeweled brat. See, there's my brat on the other side. And it's just a piece of ribbon with a sentiment. Very, very simple and easy to do. Well, that's the card. I hope you had fun making it. I hope you give it a try. Give my templates a go uh, using your own digital papers and elements to make a really nice card. And if you have any questions, you can always just message me. I uh, hope to see you soon. See you in the craft room and see you on the computer. Bye!